born people of Muslim faith, um, minority members of our community, um, with some of the white supremacist group. Um, I double checked again with the FBI um, right before I came. Um, we have no information that we're tracking or concerned with here other than kind of our normal day-to-day -day vigilance. Um, so that was again, came out of Chicago. Um, I would just say, you know, for us here, we're gonna continue to monitor. Uh, we do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week to make sure that uh, we're ahead of any potential threats that may be coming to our area. Um, the, I would ask that we continue to pray for our country. It's broken right now. Um, certainly, you know, and I always have to remain neutral, but I, I say both sides of the aisle are, are the issue in Washington, D.C., and they've got to find a way to come together so that they can be the example for the rest of the country. And I'm confident that they'll do that here. Um, in a couple of weeks, and I, I think we'll start to get into a better position in, in the country. But until then, I know I'm going to be praying as hard as I can that, uh, you know, our God wraps his arm around this country and our leaders and, and get us back together. Um, we should be the example to the rest of the world, and, and uh, I'm afraid we're not right now, but, um, or a good example anyway. Um, I would, you know, urge you to have conversations if, if you aren't already, but anybody that you, you sit down with, and it, it kind of starts. I always like to say I'd love for Kissimmee, the city of Kissimmee and our Osceola County to be the example for the rest of the world in how we establish relationships, but part of that is willing to hear both sides of the equation and not have to fight it out. You know, let's, we can have a difference of opinion and we can be gentlemen about it, right? And, and or ladies and gentlemen about it. So um, I would just, you know, try to send that message out to anybody that will listen to you that it's okay to have that difference, a difference of opinion and let's talk through it like, like adults and we don't have to fight it out. Um, the other thing that's concerning to me just really generally across the country and talk to, uh, put a message out to our officers that'll go out this afternoon reminding them that unfortunately across the country weapons and ammunition sales have really skyrocketed. And so what that means for all of us is there are more guns out there um, in, the, in the world today or in our country today in every community. And because of all the friction that's going on right now, I'm sure those same people probably are more apt to have their guns close by versus in a safe at home. And, and so, you know, that person that maybe offend you or cut you off in traffic or thinks you cut them off in traffic. If I would say any time it is, but especially in these times, walk away. Don't get into that. There's you know, no reason to argue. Let them have their opinion and go on about your day because I just don't trust some people, you know. It's, you know, that they get mad in the moment and now they've got a gun sitting beside them in the car or in the back of their pants or wherever they may keep it, that they may pull it out. So, you know, I always caution. It's hard, especially for men, sometimes to just walk away. But I, I think um, if we remember that uh, faith and um, be the bigger men, it's, it's okay. We only have to look in the mirror and look what it is in our heart. But um, I, I appreciate our relationship with Iman Patel and you all and the, the ability to come out. Um, I am very proud of our community and the way we talk things and work things through. Um, but other than your normal vigilance and kind of paying attention to anything you hear or see, um, I want to let you know that we feel comfortable right now, you know, in Kissimmee, Osceola County, that that uh, we're fine and, and a lot of those things you're seeing on the news being reported are really focused uh, away from our area. So I don't know if there's any questions or anything else you'd like me to mention. Bless all of you and thank you for always inviting us. I, I should have introduced, this is Captain Chris Suchi. I don't remember, just a few short years ago we were here, he was the um, promoted to lieutenant right that day and now he's a captain so he keeps doing the right things and then uh, lieutenant omar barrio uh, is our watch commander for this area so he has uh, he's in charge of all the officers uh working uh, patrol in uh, our entire city and uh, so wanted to 
bring them back for Chris to say hello again. And then, of course, it's hard with these masks on <laughs> to recognize <laughs> anybody. But um, anyway, uh, God bless you all. Thank you for allowing us a few minutes here today. And thank you. So, again, we thank our chief and the KPD department to have always, they always keep an extra eye on us, you know. Anything happens, they respond immediately. And also, if we have anything, you know, we're concerned, just call the KPD. Instead of taking things in our hands and try to resolve things in our own way, the best way is to talk to the law enforcement. Of anything we see, anything happens, immediately contact. So we are safe, and the other person is also safe. You know, sometimes we are smart, like the chief said, you know, we all are man. We do have anger, we get angry, someone does something to us. We feel, you know, sometimes we feel that, you know, why is this guy treating me like this or talking to me like this? But we live in a country where there's a system, where there's a way to handle things. So let's just, you know, reach out to 